I'm James O'Brien, and these are the bent over TYIW exercises. So before trying this exercise out, I would encourage you to try out the prone TYIW exercises. There's three um, types of TYIW exercises we do. We do them with resistance bands, prone on your stomach, and the bent over version right here. And I think this is probably the most advanced version. It takes the most amount of body awareness. In the prone video, uh, I, d I describe in detail how to get into that posterior tip of your scapula. And so it's essential that you know how to do this for this exercise. Also, it's essential that you have decent body awareness so that you don't hyperextend the lower back and that you're in a good bent over position. All right, so let's begin. So to do this exercise, the first thing you wanna do is to get into that good bent forward position like this. This is really like the deadlift, okay? So if you're not totally horizontal, that's okay, but you wanna be mostly horizontal um, or definitely quite inclined forward. You wanna make sure that your core is engaged so that you don't hyperextend your lower back. So as I'm doing this, I'm keeping that nice long spine with the pubic bone drawn up and into my belly button without rounding my back. So you can see how my spine is nice and long and straight. Next, what I wanna do is I wanna get my shoulders into that posterior tip position. So I roll the backs of my shoulders down as my chest comes up. I'm in great, uh, great posture right here. From this position, I'll do the T, the Y, the I, or the W. So here's the letter T. So I'm taking my arms out to the side. One, two, three. I'm really pushing my butt way back, ensuring I get that nice long spine, trying to keep that posterior tip of the scapula. And for most people, they really don't need much weight with this. If you're going to use some weight, I would keep it under five pounds to start. Um, literally, you're probably all just fine with the weight of your hands if maybe like a can of soup, like one pounds. All right, so that's the letter T. The letter Y, I go to the front at that angle. This is the letter Y. Three second count, 10 to 15 of those. The letter W. always ensuring that I'm not arching that lower back. And then lastly, the letter I. What's nice about this exercise is it really works out your entire back. Um, it really works out those extensor muscles, those muscles that help prevent you from over flexing your upper back, but also your lower back. However, you do need to be careful because as you start lifting up those arms, the tendency is to arch your lower back. So. I almost, it's very rare I do this exercise with um, my patients who are in back pain. Actually, I never do it. This is more kind of like something we do at the end of the road, um, and it's more almost of a fitness exercise than anything. So uh, it, it is a great exercise, but if you're in pain, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't try this exercise. It's more just to keep your um, body moving well and really for uh, fitness purposes.